second did reluctantly, but I, I really don't see where else we can go. You look at those numbers and we don't, there's just not, the, the college does not have a lot of reserves. <laughs> you look at it, it's just not there. I mean, it's unfortunate that that's the case, but that's, that's the case. It's tough because obviously there's capital. We just saw investments of millions in capital projects, which I know need to be done. They, they do. But we got, we got the optics of investing in in the plant and the facilities, <coughs> but taking price increases that students have yeah. to pay, um, and their price increase is substantial and higher than the salary increases that are being proposed. I mean, I know it's I, it's, it's a puzzle. It's, it's, I know. And, it's, and if you leave the, the physical plant, you don't you don't invest in it. I can tell you, I'm at a place that has done that. And it's a mess. Well, we just and can't keep just coming out of the strategic planning <coughs> meeting and ha the ad hoc meeting, talking about you know uh, the wants and desires from the faculty as well as other constituents around college. If we want to be that school and provide excellence for our students, um, we can't have dental labs that have dental from, from 1975. No. We just, just can't keep putting on the backs of the students. Just well, where else are you going to put it? Dave Nagel and the representatives do a lot for the schools here. So. Not according to that, you know. Well, I think they do plenty, but that's a different Not discussion. according to the numbers that are in. Not, and I'm not vote? talking to him individually. I'm talking about the state overall. We just heard that, we, that the state of Massachusetts invests 50% less than the rest of the states in higher education. So I don't know how you can make that claim because that's just not even, that's just not what the statistics bear out. They're just not. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I entirely agree yeah. with you, Bridget. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just more concerned that uh, uh, the strategy seems to be putting all the eggs in one basket. Uh, the president said that, uh, uh, in the, and uh, I don't want to misquote you, but the direction that we're going is dealing with the, uh, the Massachusetts State Senate. Well, that's good. It's a good strategy. But we got a, a first term state senator in there, and the state senate annually tries to pack on an extra billion to two billion dollars of spending mm -hmm. in the state, and they don't get it, it comes to a compromise. Mm -hmm. I would think that the, uh, the, the State House of Representatives, with uh, talking about uh, Representative Nagel, who has an open door to the <coughs> administration, he's on the leadership team for, uh, for, uh, 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 for uh, Robert DeLeo, uh, the Speaker of the House, and uh, Tom Golden, Roddy Ma, who loves this this uh, community college. I mean, it's going to be concerted effort. It just can't be all eggs in one basket because uh, it's going to be a team approach down there, and I hope they do ask for more money for local schools. Uh, and uh, I think working together and, and knowing that we are counting on them to deliver for us instead of one area of the state legislative branch it would be um, uh, uh, much more. Uh, all the uh, colleges. Much reached out to all of their House representatives and uh, sent, uh, sent them budget priorities, but also sent them am amendment priorities. Um, it was a one-page list with the amendment numbers asking them to sign on as co-sponsors or to support the amendment. So we've all been doing that across the state, and I <coughs> had repeated you know, visits to the state, state House to see, uh, see Robert DeLeo, to see the Chair of Ways and Means in the House. So we have been working through each level, we don't put all our eggs in one basket. I'm just saying this is where we uh, where we got in, in the uh, House budget this year so far. So you're right, it comes down to a compromise. We never get everything, that, you know, the Senate never gets every, any, everything it asks, uh, but we, um, we work with the administration at the front end, and we work with the House, and we work with the budget, uh, the Senate, and then we work with everybody because we know it's gonna come to a compromise. <coughs> 